Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Johnny Ohm for Killer Ohm Games, and this is Dimer Dozen Gaming, the series where we take a look at video games that cost $12 or less to put you in the game without breaking the bank. Today's game is the Pokemon Snap Killer, Beasts of Maravilla Island. That's right, I said it. It is a adventure game with tons of exploration and puzzle elements. That's your typical old fashioned Pokemon Snap like collectathon, taking pictures of everything you see on a mystical, magical land. It was developed by Banana Bird Studios and published by White Door Digital originally on February 3rd, 2021. It is now available on all platforms, at least from what I can tell, the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation, the Xbox. I am playing it on Steam right now. On Steam, you can get it for $11.49 if you act fast. It is currently on sale for just a little bit less than that at $10.34. Why am I calling it a Pokemon Snap Killer? Well, that's a simple question. It is currently less than $12, while Pokemon Snap will run you currently like 80 bones. That right there kills it. So the real question is, does the gameplay hold up? Is the value there? Is it worth the loot? Let's find out, starting now. New game started up, right on, here we go. The world is full of magic, patiently waiting for our senses to become sharper. <laughs> Yeet. WB when eats. I was young, my grandpa used to fill my head with crazy stories about a magical island. Hmm. As I grew older, I knew better than to believe in old fairy tales. Fool. So, why am I doing this? Going to a fictional place I only remember in my dreams. My dearest Marina, do not mourn me when I am gone. Digging that. I have lived a life in service like oil of paint the style. Of this earth. A lifelong passion I hope I've passed on to you. Looks really cool so far. Maravilla Island is a myth, and every day it is losing itself. Yet nobody can act. How can we say what we do not know? I don't believe we can. Notice the stories leaving around. Everything is interesting. Look closer. So, I leave you my camera and my journal. Photograph Maravilla's majesty and bring back something beautiful to share with the world. All right, let's get into this. Let's take some pictures. I haven't played Pokemon Snap since back in the day on the N64, but let me tell you, we put in work in that game when we were kids. Okay, I'm on my own from here until tomorrow morning anyway. Gosh, I hope this is the right island. Otherwise, this is going to be one short adventure. Well, it's going to be overnight, no matter what, from what near as I could tell. Based on what... Whoa. That was like a giant wolf caribou. That's what that looked to me, an albino wolf caribou. What was that? Whatever it was, it looks like it's gone now. Yes. Okay, so we got your tutorial. We're moving our camera. We're playing in 3D. We probably attract animals like that. Left trigger to camera. That's an interesting choice. Okay. Oh, right trigger to take photo. All right, let's get a picture of this little guy. A round ruby beetle. All right. Great job. That beetle is a creature of the island. Animals are placed in your photo book based on which environment you found them in. You use blah, blah, flip pages, find different environments of the island, and you can take photos you take it by turning the pages. Wait, what? You find the different environments of the island and photos you take it by turning... Yeah, okay, obviously. Uh, put the photo book away. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hmm. So, I don't know that it's like Pokemon Snap in terms of... Um, can we jump? Yeah. In terms of like quality of photo, I'm not really sure. I also don't like that I feel like I'm fighting the camera. It's just constantly rotating on me. I guess it's sort of trying to direct me where it wants me to go. I don't know. Hmm. 
yeah, so I don't know if quality of photo or action shots matter or what, but um, I guess we'll find out as we go. We got all these questions. Whoa. Oh, wow. They're unlike any critters I've ever seen I back in L.A. I bet Grandpa journal. wrote about these in his journal. New objectives added. Press Y. Love flipping through his journal as a kid. It's been a long time, though. I barely remember what's in it. I should jot these animals down so I remember what to look for. Okay, so all gem bugs, chrysalis bugs. So we're trying to just get a bunch of stuff. You get it? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Wow. We're taking pictures of stuff. Oh, said so the island inhabitants were magical. I see that now. The more photos and animals I collect, the more people understand and care about this island like he did. Okay. Let's take some pics. What else do we got here? Is that it? Oh, I want an action shot. Oh, I'll hold her steady. Gotcha. Love it. Okay. Where else can we go? How do I whistle again? <gasps> Got him. Found ourselves oh. a little bird. Mentioning that the plants on this island are photosensitive. Okay. Oh? Maybe that flash from my camera makes them enough to bloom. Okay. So we're not just taking... We're taking pictures of the flora as well. That's right. Can use some more uh, technical words. Do we have to turn the flash on and off? Um, oh, selfie mode. What? Cool. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe this is not the plant she was talking about. I think this seems more like the plant. Yeah. Whoa. Do I have infinite Whoa. pictures is the thing. Whoa. Whoa. Now that's full of sense. All I needed was a little flash to shoot a beam of light. Oh, it shot a beam of light at the beanstalk. And the stalk grew as something out of the fairy tale. Well, if anything, like the fairy tale, I might be able to climb it. Yeah, you might get smushed by a giant as well. Isn't that kind of strange? You'd think taking a picture of the magical beanstalk that grows a thousand times in size at the at the flash of a light would be probably something worth photographing, but you know what? What do I know? It's the end of the day. It's new. It's a uh, chrysanthemum. Uh oh. Look at that. Oh, on the top of the branch. They seem so familiar. Yes. Their tail twinning is a giveaway. It's a, a Mervillium queso bird. Monkey? I should look at the journal. Okay. Let's look at the journal. Uh, Rainbow crested Quetzal monkey. This monkey of paradise uses the nest in the understory lair of Marvilia's forest, hiding from predators. These affectionate monkeys twine their tails together in times of stress. Or just to let another know that they care. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh. Rainbow, crested, uh, Rainbow crested Quetzal monkey. Grandpa was quite the scientist, but these colorful friends are just <laughs> cute bird monkeys. Wait, bird monkey? Binky? Much better. Aww. Says in the journal that these creatures find their tails together. Why did I have to read that if she was just going to read it back to me? Okay. What else we got? We got the uh, Rainbow Amarillium. And three of them. Uh, it would appear we already have a picture of that. So we're obviously going to take a picture of these little guys. Let's zoom in here. Nice. Now what I want to do. Where should I put it? What do you mean where should you put it? Oh, I get it. Okay. So this must be it. This is a quest. Every primary creature has four documented behaviors. When you capture one, is in the objective photo. Objective photos will appear in their labeled spots under the environments of the photo book. Okay, sweet. So it is like Pokemon Snap. You do want to catch them doing certain things. Uh, same subject. Select the displayed photo in the photo book to view the photos. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Several photos of the tail twinning pinkies. You select your favorite. Okay, that's cool. So now we want to, first of all, let's get a selfie with them. 
Ah, uh, you can't really. Not a good look. Ah. Uh, yeah, we're not a good height for that. But we could try and uh, whistle. Oops. Let's whistle at him. So, because we want to catch them gliding. All right, we're pictured up. I want to be able to throw like a rock at him or something. Can I climb this tree? No, it won't let me. Okay, the twinning behavior. We already got that though. Look at this. That's new. Giant jungle lotus. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I guess the, the kind of cool. I wonder if these like little flashing things. Like, what are? What is that? Is it just magic? It's magic. So there's the puzzle elements, I guess, come into play there. Where you got to take pictures to open things. We've already taken pictures of this. I do prefer this to the Pokemon Snap kind of you're on rails. Hello. Oh, who's under the tree? Hey, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yo, come say hi if I whistle. Maybe. Maybe you'll be terrified. Let me see if I can sneak a little pick in there. It's a mango capico. Oops. Look at this little bugger. Hey, pal. Can I touch it? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Moving on, then. Oh, we got some more beautiful butterflies. These are new. A toucan butterfly. Toucan beak butterfly. I will call you Sam. L to crouch. That's not L. Oh, yeah. L. I get it now. I play games. Oh, okay. Look at this. We're into some shit now. Excuse my French. I don't know why swearing was required in a magical game like this. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Ooh, look at all this. Okay. A pale blue fin wing. What about the flower? Is that also new? Yeah, it is. Marvillian angel trumpet. Interesting. Oh, I already got them. Do I need them in flight, though? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. I think there's only certain creatures you need to catch in flight. Ooh! So I guess this is basically tutorial level. It's going to get us through. This guy's going to jump off and glide, I bet. Look at him climb that thing. Holy Moses. Here he goes. Okay. We got to capture that guy flying. How are we going to do it, though? I see one of those. Is this new? Yeah. Oh, I just saw something jump. What was that? What were you? Oh, they're all over the place. Freaking me out. There he is. It's a humming malcheat grasshopper. Is it singing to me? Look, we need to take a picture of this. Grow a beanstalk. You... All right. Let's get up this thing. Ooh, see that bird to the left? Oh, look at all these toucans. Cool. All right, let's get off this thing. We got some new, some new flora here. Oh, no, it's not new. A banana peel toucan. Yeah, I know my toucans really well. It, it yeah. I could tell a mile away. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a toucan for sure. They're everywhere. Does it matter that they're flying? No. We got to find that little monkey man. Make him jump. Oh. Got some more newbies. A hibiscus dove. Ooh, I thought I saw just a green butterfly there. That was new. Gotcha, fam. Okay. What are these little guys? This is a hibiscus plum dove. What was the new thing? A bandana barnacle mushroom. I mean, I don't really see it, but achievement unlocked. I got a green thumb. Ooh, look at that. What's that thing? Oh, it's a giant lotus. We already did see one of those. What have we got over here? We got some nests of some kind. 
cool environment. I'm digging the music. Where did we see the gliding binky go? It must be around here somewhere. Where are you, you little binky? Little glided binks? Wow, are these binky nests? Or where are the binkies? I wonder if I can coax them down with my whistle. Interesting. Hmm. Imagine if creatures were that easy to summon. You just walk around going, and then bam, the whole crew of binkies come flying at you. It would actually be terrible. Look at this. Holy jaboli. There's baby puppy binkies, young binky pups. Is that what they call them? So now I want you to fly away, though. Oops. Get out of here. I need one of them to jump, though. All right, you know what we got to do is we obviously got to get a selfie of this because, like, no one's ever going to believe this back home. There. Now they're going to... Oh! Oh! All right, save the mic. Save the mic. Now they're going to think that uh, no one's going to believe this. Let's take another little shot. Another little selfie. Just in case they don't believe... Oh! One more selfie. For good measure. But look it. We got binkies flying everywhere. Get them. Get him. Wait. Wait till he's in a good view. Right there. Yeah. You know what? I mean, we got the point, but we we don't want it. Oh, there it is. Oh, just missed him. There he is. Right there. Whoa. That binky can fly right through the tree. Did you look at that? Are there any more binks? Well, we got the gliding action. Are we, are we happy with that? Are we just going to cheese it out? Yeah. We'll find another gliding binky, I'm sure. It won't be the last. There's no way. All right. Just wander the trees for a while. See what we can see. Well, these are the mushrooms, I guess. Take a better picture of them just to qualify it because the last time we really could see okay let's whistle let's get these binksers down wow. jungle so full of life who would have thought i'd see all these flying bird monkeys well if you would have even taken the time to read your grandpa's journal we already seen the tangerine bird I think we triggered an event there. Can we jump? No. Okay. This looks like a way. This looks like a spot I haven't been. Look at all of this. Wow. Cool. <gasps> Got you, you vine-tailed tanger song. Thought you'd get away from me. There's the orchids. Okay. We got some more little glowworm things here. Little fireflies. Can we zoom right in on one? He's a rhino beetle. He's a cool little creature, isn't he? Oh yeah, I see why they call him that. Let's get a good shot of him. Hope has a rhino beetle, so he's got a cow as a jewel bug. That's a close one. Take some nice pictures of the the butterflies cohabitating. Just so people know it can be done. We could live in peace and harmony like the butterflies. These binglies are socializing by singing to each other. Hmm. If I can mimic their voices, I might be able to bring one closer to me. I better listen to their song closely. I don't want to offend them. No, you wouldn't want to offend the binkies, that's for sure. Okay, so I can learn their calls. That's actually interesting. That's new. It's hard to remember what you've seen and haven't seen in terms of flowers. Is it a three-banger? 
Yeah, it is. Singing behavior captured. Nailed it. It was a three shot. Okay. All right, you little binky. These fickle little buggers, aren't they? You're not doing it right. Oh, no. This is the way I came. We wanted to hang a Roger here. Yeah, we already heard you sing, all right? We're over it now. We want to see you do something else. What else can you do? Pretty death-defying young woman here, though, right? Like, to just be like, oh, yeah, just drop me off in the ocean here. Or, I mean, in the island. I'll be fine. I wonder who dropped her off, too, and was just like, yeah, okay, that's cool. We'll, we're, we're perfectly cool with that. Oh, look at this. Moonstone Longhorn Beetles. I actually live uh, near a place called Moonstone. And I can assure you, they don't have Longhorn Beetles that look like that. They probably have Longhorn Beetles. I don't know. I'm not really a Longhorn Beetle expert. We got these. These are those vine tail little buggers. These will expand. Unless that really helps us. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> like those guys. This little guy's trying to attract a girl, but he's just not impressed enough. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel your pain, my dude. Maybe I can be his wingman and help him out. I think my grandpa said something about the binky courtship and lights in this journal. Oh, we got to, I guess, try to attract him. Oh. I see. Can I push this snail thing? Whoa, what the heck just happened? Oh, I can attract these weird snail creatures. Wow. There we go. I guess I just need to just drop it on the right spot. how bright and colorful and happy he is. And while we're at it, let's take a picture of the far more interesting reflector snail here. A giant Aegis snail. Agate snail. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a sweet running, gunning, picture-taking adventure. Pokemon killer, perhaps you can decide for yourself at one-eighth of the price. It's hard to argue. It's not worth trying. Anyways, if you liked it and you want to see more, you can come join us every Tuesday at Facebook Jam Gaming. That's fb.gg uh, backslash Killer Ohm Games. If you search for us on YouTube, which you must have already done to have found us, it's Killer Ohm Games on Twitter, Killer Ohm Games on TikTok. It's Killer Ohm Games. Instagram is just Killer Ohm. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Every Monday we drop a new video showcasing another cheap or inexpensive video game to get you in the game without breaking the bank. Play game, save money. That is our motto here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.